evening so day 14 and I will say it has not been a great day um so I didn't say last night but last night I my airbag like came on on my car <sighs> which pissed me off so then today I have had to drive my boyfriend's car which I don't really like driving it's really big it makes me feel really edgy um so <coughs> I have not really liked that um he's tried to fix the fault light and can't at the moment so he's got a friend coming around to look at it on Friday I think so ooh. wow um and then I've come home I've not felt in the greatest of moods been pissy and I guess the real reason I'm pissy is because I can't afford another car my car is shit it is a petrol Citroen Picasso it is already done nearly 150,000 miles the comms unit and it's breaking down so at a point where the lights were staying on so my boyfriend kindly rewired it all um which yes I know it was very nice of him so my lights are on a completely separate um switch to what they would normally be and then He's made a comment of Well all I can do is try and fix it because you've got no money to buy another one and that's just piss me off, I guess. I hate being constantly well not constantly, it's not like he does it all the time reminded of what I haven't got and I guess the real reason that fucks me off is because my dad passing away four years ago nearly has caused a lot of financial hardship I guess so um, I wasn't with my boyfriend when he died um, and we had to leave the house that he died in so we rented it the landlord wanted to put the rent up we couldn't even afford it what it was so it was like leaving my dad again two years later um, he didn't have massive health insurance and all that type of thing so A lot of people, you see a lot of people when somebody dies, they obviously are devastated by the person going, but one comfort is that they're left financially secure. Um, their mortgage would be paid off or there'd be some sort of payout from somewhere, their work or something um and we didn't have any of that from my dad so um we had one payout but it was used to pay rent and my mum used it to obviously try and make us three kids feel better. But my 
my mum got a car and I got given that one because it was CC in better condition than the one I had. Um, and now... Sometimes it feels like a constant reminder of all the shit that I want to forget about. And I think that's something that you realise when you're doing this, or well, I'm certainly realising doing this, is how much you use food to suppress feelings stop them coming out and just completely suppress it, get rid of it um, and I guess there's this bit of me that then starts to feel angry towards my dad that he's not here like really angry and obviously it's not his fault because if he could be here he would but I guess angry at the stuff I've had to take on or felt like I've had to take on since he's gone and that who do I ask for help where do I go when I need help or advice but <clears throat> I guess I think things just sort of work out and <sighs> not gonna lie there was many a times I wish that fucking car just <sighs> I'd say someone nick it but <laughs> I don't mean that but just I don't know I just wish I had the money to be able to <sighs> get another one that I didn't have to still that my mum and sister didn't still need financial help where they're living even though I'm not living there anymore and and I guess sometimes when I'm not eating I realise how much of all this shit I just suppressed with food and because I'm not occupying my time and my mouth with food it gives you that much more time to think about it I'm gonna leave that as that because I think that's enough misery for one day um, and I'll be back tomorrow